we are going to do dhoti tata today so please get ready with the tata stand i already shared the points in the group please get ready with the tata stand during the process okay let us start the session with the prayer please sit in madrasan close your eyes om sahana bhavatu sahana punatu sahaviryam karavahai ज्योति Please get ready with the tartak stand or candle stand. Let us do giant stretching. First one, toe stretch. To see, one, two, three, four, five. Ankle stretch. One, two, three, four, five. Ankle rotation. Say one, two, three, four, five. Anti clockwise. One, two, three, four, and five. Next, lift your knee caps up and down. One, two, three, four, five. Next. knee rotation compress 1 2 3 4 5 anti clockwise 1 2 3 4 5 next clockwise items 1 2 3 4 5 anti clockwise 1 Two, three, four, and five. Okay. Next, interlock your fingers. Hold your toes. Bring your feet closer to the body. Close your eyes. Focus on the base of the spine. Inhale. Exhale. With same awareness, please put your full body flat. Both legs up and down, full swing. So do not round your spine. Look in front. Look in front. Keep your spine straight. Do not look down. Close your eyes. Focus on the base of the spine. Keep your spine straight. Push your chest, chest forward, and relax your shoulders. Okay, proceed for a few more seconds. Okay, then slowly release. Next, sit in Madhurasan or Padmasan or cross leg or any comfortable position. First one, finger stretch. Proceed. One, two, three, four, five. Next, wrist stretch. One, two, three, four, five. Wrist rotation. Proceed clockwise. One, two. Three, four, five. Anti-clockwise. One, two, three, four, five. Next elbow flex. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. Next shoulder rotation. We see clockwise and anti-clockwise.
okay next neck exercises type 1 please proceed with inhale neck up exhale neck down 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 21 22 23 24 25 26 27 28 29 30 And five. Next type two. Please proceed side by side. With exhale, neck goes away from the center. With inhale, neck comes comes to the center. Proceed one, two, three, four. Four and five. Next to the left and right. Please proceed. One, two, three, four. And five. Next, neck rotation. Push it clockwise, ready clockwise. Two, three, four, and five. And clockwise. Okay. Slowly release your legs. Don't lose up your legs. Okay. Please come standing position. Let us do Surya Namaskar. Come in front of the mat, feet together, hands in Namaste position. Please proceed. One, inhale, bend backwards at the waist. Please proceed. Two, exhale, forward bend. <clears throat> Three, inhale, take right leg backwards. So for Surya Namaskar, you need to come to front of the mat. Four. Reflect backwards. Five. Relax in child posture. Six. Slide forward. Forehead, chest, and knee touches the ground. Seven. Inhale and look up the ceiling. Cobra posture. Eight. Exhale. Look towards abdomen. Mountain posture. Nine, relax in child posture. Ten, inhale, bring right leg forward. Eleven, exhale, bring left leg forward. And twelve, inhale, bend backwards at the waist. Then back to Namaste position. Let us do one more round. Come to the front of the mat. Feet together, hands in Namaste position. Inhale, bend backwards at the waist. Two, exhale, forward bend. Three, inhale, take right leg backwards. Four, hold your breath, take left leg backwards. Five. Relax in child posture. Six. 
exhale, slide forward, forehead, chest, and knee touches the ground. Seven, inhale and look up the ceiling, cobra posture. Eight, exhale, look towards abdomen, mountain posture. Nine, relax in child posture. Then inhale, bring right leg forward. Eleven, exhale, left leg forward. No bend in the knees. Twelve, inhale, bend backwards to the waist. Then back to Namaste position. Okay, let us do final round. Come to front of the mat, feet together, hands in Namaste position. One, inhale, bend backwards to the waist. Two, exhale, forward bend. Three, inhale, take right leg backwards. Four, hold your breath, take left leg backwards. Five, relax in child posture. Six, exhale and slide forward, forehead, chest and knee touches the ground. Seven, inhale and look up the ceiling, knees off the ground, cobra posture. Eight, look towards the abdomen, mountain posture. Nine, relax in child posture. Ten, inhale, bring right leg forward. Eleven, exhale, bring left leg forward. Twelve, inhale, bend backwards at the waist. Then back to the Namaste position. Then close your eyes, feet apart, palms open. Observe the changes in the body, mind, breath, energy and breath circulation. Before Suri Namaskar and after Suri Namaskar. Relax through the process. Observe the changes. Be present at the moment. Slowly open your eyes, come to sitting position. Okay, so sit in Padmasana. First one is Surya and Lom Milom Pranayam. Keep your spine straight, close your eyes, make Nasukam with the right hand. Close your left nostril all the time. Inhale, exhale only through the right. Proceed one. Prolong your inhale. Prolong your exhale. Two. Three. Four. And five. Bring your right hand down. Now make Nascom with your right hand. Close your right nostril all the time. Inhale, exhale only through the left. Proceed one. Two. Three. 
फोर एंड फाइव फिंगर डाउन सो सो इफ यू नो अबाउट जलद जलद taking the water to the nostrils and netra snan i wash only if you know about netra snan and jalaneti and if you not practice so please uh, you can go and practice and come back okay if you are not aware of uh, netra snan and jalaneti you please continue the practices if you are aware of jalaneti taking the water to the nostrils and netra snan i wash if you are aware please go practice and come back if you are not aware please continue the practice practices okay next kapal pati brisk breathing okay let us proceed only exhale inhale is passive we should not inhale at our conscious only exhale inhale happens automatically between one exhale and other exhale okay let us proceed at your own face keep your spine straight close your eyes नाम सिंह ओके नेक्स्ट उज्जयी ब्रीथ उज्जयी ब्रीथिंग स्टोरिंग ब्रीथिंग बाय मेंटेनिंग फ्रिक्शन ऑफ द थ्रोट इनहेल एक्सेल फॉर फाइव टाइम्स प्रोलॉन्ग योर इनहेल प्रोलॉन्ग योर एक्सेल सो थ्री वन टू Three, four, and five. Okay. <coughs> Next. Keep your mudras like this. Keep your palms above the knees. Close your eyes. Keep your spine straight. The tip of the thumb, ring finger, and little finger will be touching one another. We are going to inhale and exhale for five times. Prolong your inhale. Prolong your exhale. One. Two. Three, four, and five. Okay. Next. Nadi Shuddhi or Anlo Milam Pranayam or Alternate Breathing. Keep your spine straight. Close your eyes. Make Narsi Kamath with the right hand. Close your right nostril. Exhale from the left only for the first time. Inhale from the left. Close left. Open your right. Exhale from the right nostril. It completes half round. Now keep your right open. Inhale from the right. Close right. Open your left. Exhale from the left nostril. It completes one round. Proceed for eight more rounds. Inhale, prolong your exhale. Do not make any sounds. Two, three, four. Five, six, 
सिक्स सेवन एट एंड नाइन Bring your right hand down. Next, Brahmari for five times. That is your own face. Once you are done with Brahmari, bring your hands down. Bring your hands down slowly. Open your eyes. Okay. So, if you are aware of Jalaniyathi and Netrasnan, please do Jalaniyathi and Netrasnan and come back and get ready with the Tata stand. So, before doing the Jyoti Tata, okay. So, we will be doing the eye exercises, warming for. Jyoti Tata, warm up for Jyoti Tata. Okay. So before that, if any, I will explain the process again. So first, we are going to do eye exercises. For eye exercises, we need to apply palming as well. Okay. So palming, we have four types of palming. Okay. First one is simple palming. Rub your palms, generate the heat, make cup of your palms. It's not like flat. We need to make cup of your palms, place over the eyes. Do not touch your eyeballs. That is simple palming. Next one is rub your palms, generate the heat. This is uh, this process is same for all kinds of palming. Rub your palms, generate the heat, make up of your palms, place over the eyes. It is called press and release palming. Press with inhale, release with exhale. So release means we are not removing our hands. Just we are relaxing our hands, our palms. Okay. It is called press and release palming. Next one is constant pressure apply palming. Rub your palms, generate the heat, make up of your palms, constantly apply the pressure. Then inhale, exhale. It completes one round. Like that, we will do five rounds. Okay. Then constant pressure apply palming with primary. The process will be same. Only thing is while exhaling, you will chant makara sound. When you do makara sound, close your mouth. The tip of the tongue should be touching the upper palate. Okay, so rub your palm, generate the heat, make up of your palms, constant pressure play palming. Inhale while exhale, chant makara. Mm. Okay, so these are the different palming eye palming which we will apply after eye exercise. After each eye exercise, we will apply palming, and also during the Jyoti Tata, we will apply the palming after. Each step. So next we have eye exercises. Total four eye exercises. First I will explain. Then we will practice together. First one is the vertical movement of eyeballs. During eye exercises, do not move your head and neck. During eye exercises, do not move your head and neck. Okay, only the movement of eyeballs. Next, during the palming. During the palming. Do not. You need to keep your palms together. You make a cup of your palms like that. All five fingers are together so that you will bring darkness to the your eye region. Okay. Do not have any gap between your fingers. You should not. You should bring darkness to your eyes in the palming. During eye exercises, 
do not move your head and neck only the movement of eyeballs okay so these are the important points and during the face, uh, eye exercises and also forming keep your facial muscles relaxed do not have any tension on your face keep your facial muscles relaxed and have a smile on the face okay the first eye exercise let us practice together keep your eyeballs open widely so when you do netrasnan your eyes are open widely that's why we need to do netrasnan before doing jyoti chatta and the jalaneti will help to clean your nadis okay please proceed follow my count 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 21 22 23 24 25 26 27 28 29 Make cup of your palm, place your thighs. Now you can close your eyes during the palming, but during eye exercises, eyes must be open. Now bring your hands down. Feel the cool sensation around your eye region. So that is the five first eye exercises, which we have played simple palming. Next one, second eye exercise. Horizontal movement of eyeballs to the right. and left so it completes one round like that we will do five rounds keep your eyes open widely to the right and left proceed follow my count one do not move your head and neck to 3 four and five tap your palms in the heat make up of your palms place over thighs do not touch your eyeballs do not touch your eyeballs simple palming so for the first two eye exercises we will apply simple palming bring your hands down so feel the cool sensation around your eye region next one third eye exercise is diagonal movement of eyeballs okay so right up left down that is first set then left up right down so keep your right hand like this left hand like this and right thumb is open left thumb also open so we are going to look at our right thumb and left thumb right up left down okay please follow my count 1 2 3 do not move your head the neck 4 and 5 now adjust your hands left up and right down do not move your head the neck proceed 1 2 3 Four and five. Rub your palms. In that heat, make cup of your palms. Place your thighs. Do not touch your eyeballs. Press and release palming. Press with inhale. Release with exhale. That completes one round. Proceed for four more rounds. Two, three. Four and five. Bring your hands down. Keep your eyes open. Okay. So we have done three eye exercises. First one is vertical movement. Next one is diagonal movement, horizontal movement, and the third one is diagonal movement. Next one is clockwise five times and anti clockwise five times keep your eyes open widely proceed for clockwise and anti clockwise follow my count 
four and five. Now anti clockwise one, two, three, four, and five. Now rub your palms, tender the hip, make up of your palms, place over the eye region, do not touch your eyeballs. Constant pressure apply palming. Constantly apply the pressure. Inhale. Exhale. It completes one round. Proceed for four more rounds to keep your facial muscles relaxed. Have your smile on the face. Three. Four. And five. Bring your hands down. Open your eyes. So feel the cool sensation around your eye region. Okay. So when you feel your eyes are tired, you can do simple eye exercises and also apply the palming so that you will feel cool sensation around your eye region. Okay. Next. We are going to practice Jyoti Tatak. Before that, I will explain the process of Jyoti Tatak. The limitations. So the important point is limitation. Limitations. Who should not practice? If you have, if you had any recent eye surgery or if you have epileptics, okay, or any issues with the eye, please do not practice Jyoti Tatak. Okay. So I will repeat. If you have any recent eye surgery or epileptics, please avoid practicing. Jyoti Tata. That is a limitation. Okay. So what is the advantages or benefits? So it is very good for heart, heart disorders, blood pressure disorders, to improve concentration, to improve your eyesight. Okay. It is very, very good technique. It is even good for insomnia. It will make your mind calm. So it has immense benefits. Jyoti Tata. So that is the benefits. So Jyoti Tata is a powerful meditation technique. It is preparation, preparatory technique for meditation. So in Ashtanga Yoga, it is Dharna practice. It is called Dharna practice. Dharna means focusing. So in the Jyoti Tata, we are going to focus at single point. So that is why Jyoti Tata is called Dharna practice. And also it is preparatory for meditation. So what are the steps and how we are going to do? So we are going to do in the four steps. Okay. Before that, you need to make necessary arrangements. So keep your Jyoti Tata ready. I am going to use the names Jyoti Tata or candle stand interchangeably. Keep your Jyoti Tata stand or candle stand. And the distance between you and uh, uh, Jyoti Tata stand should be 5 feet. Like 1.5 meter to 2 meter. That is the distance. And you need to keep your room dark. If you are practicing in the living region, your room must be dark. Turn off your aircon, turn off your fans, turn off your lights. Okay? Then your, the flame should be steady. The flame should not be moving. The flame itself is moving, then you cannot visualize the flame. The flame should be steady and the flame should be at least one inch length. And the flame should be at your eyesight level. The flame should be at your eyesight level when you sit in Padmasana. So you can use the small chair and on the small chair, you can put the lamp or candle. Okay. So if you do not, uh, the best one is, the best preferred one is that you can use the lamp, which we use for prayers. If you do not have lamp, you can use the candle. Okay. If you are using the lamp, use proper oil. What is the proper oil? You can use ghee. It is the most preferred one. If you do not have ghee, you can use sesame oil or coconut oil. Okay? So these are the preparatory techniques, preparatory process before we start with Jyoti Tata. Okay? Once you, once I start a process, I'm going to give instructions once again. You just follow my instructions. So during the process, you should not have any thoughts in your mind. How you can control your thoughts? Our mind is made or our brain is made to generate the thoughts. 
our aim should not be to control the thoughts our aim should be having no thoughts once you get any thought okay by focusing on the breath do not continue same cycle of thought that's how we can reduce the number of thoughts okay so that is very very important point then coming to the process of jyoti tatak so we are going to do jyoti tatak in four steps first step is effortless gazing okay we are, we are going to look at the flame without any effort okay when in each process do not look at the flame directly first blink your eyes look at the floor then look at the base of the candle stand look at the top of the candle stand then look at the candle then look at the flame so in five steps you are going to look at the flame in in every process whenever you have to look at the flame that is very important okay then second step second step is intensive focusing at the tip of the wick of the candle okay so here also open your eyes do not look at the flame directly follow the process which i just mentioned then look at the flame for few seconds then bring your attention to the tip of the wick of the candle the black card you are you have to focus on that particular black card point so you are focusing and concentrating this point it is called dharna practice that is the second step okay in the second step we are going to apply the palming we are going to apply constant pressure apply palming in the first step we are going to uh, we are going to apply press and release palming okay in the third step third step is defocusing how we are going to do defocus we are going to defocus in four steps first we are going to look at the flame for few seconds then expand your awareness away from the flame so that your flame goes becomes bigger and bigger and collect all the details about the flame like color of the flame size of the flame small particles around the flame so you need to collect all the details like size of the flame flame color of the flame shape of the flame and small particles around the flame then third step bring your attention back to the flame and the fourth step visualize the flame between your eye bones okay close your eyes then visualize the flame between your eye bones once okay when you visualize the flame you need to collect all the details with eyes closed like size of the flame shape of the flame color of the flame and small particles around the flame once the image disappears once the flame disappears between the eye bone go for constant pressure apply palming with the primary okay then maintain silence uh, feel the cool sensation around your eye, eye region for few seconds then bring your hands down do not bring your hands down directly after constant pressure apply palming okay the fourth step is maintaining silence with eyes closed in silence so i'm muting okay so in the fourth step maintain the silence feel that your concentration concentration has been improved and your focus has been improved your eyesight has been improved okay then take your hands backwards and follow the instructions which i am going to tell so this is a complete process about jyoti tatak so if you have any questions please let me know do you have any questions okay so please lit your lamp or your candle please lit your lamp or candle and turn off your lights turn off your aircons turn off your fans close your door keep your room dark enough okay sitting padmasan so padmasan is most preferred one if you are not able to sit in padmasan for longer time you can sit in vajrasan or cross leg close your eyes
close your eyes bring your hands in namaste position inhale exhale om bhur bhuvatsvaha om tat savidurvarenyam bhargo devasya dimahi niyo yo na prachodayat do not open your eyes do not open your eyes so when i ask you to open your eyes do not look at the flame directly you need to look at the you need to blink your eyes look at the floor then look at the base of the candle stand look at the top of the candle stand look at the flame look at the candle then look at the flame in five steps you need to look at the flame do not look at the flame directly okay blink your eyes look at the floor look at the base of the candle stand look at the top of the candle stand look at the candle look at the flame so this is the first step effortless gazing in the effortless gazing do not blink or blink your eyes just observe the whole flame for few seconds from 30 seconds to 60 seconds which practice you can gradually increase the duration Tap your palms, send the heat. Take a puff your palms, place your eyes. Do not touch your eyeballs. Press and release, palming. Press with inhale, release with exhale. Complete one round. Proceed for four more rounds. Two. Three. four and five bring your hands down do not open your eyes and do not look at the flame directly blink your eyes look at the floor look at the base of the candle stand look at the top of the candle stand candle then look at the flame second step is called intensive focusing so look at the whole flame for few seconds do not blink or blink your eyes use your will power in the step 2 now bring your attention to the black card the tip of the wick of the candle single point so it is the process of focusing on 
concentration. Use your willpower to focus at single point. Do not have any thoughts in your mind. Be present at the moment. If you get water out of your eyes, let them come out. It is a good sign of practice. The impurities will be removed. Rub your palms, then let the heat make up of your palms. Place your thighs, do not touch your eyeballs. Constant pressure apply palming. Constantly apply the pressure. Inhale. Exhale. It completes one turn. Proceed for four more rounds, two, three, four, and five. Bring your hands down, do not open your eyes. So we have done with two steps. Next third step is defocusing. Do not look at the flame directly. Blink your eyes, look at the floor, look at the base of the candle stand, look at the top of the candle stand, candle, then look at the flame. So we are going to do defocusing in four steps. First, look at the whole flame for a few seconds. Now expand your awareness away from the flame. The flame becomes bigger and bigger. Collect all the details of the flame, like size of the flame, 
shape of the flame color of the flame aura around the flame the small particles around the flame no thoughts in your mind use your will power be present at the moment so collect all the details about the flame as much details as possible bring your attention back to the flame for a few seconds now close your eyes just visualize the flame between your eye bones visualize the flame between your eyeballs collect all the details about the flame with eyes closed like size of the flame shape of the flame color of the flame aura around the flame small particles around the flame once the image disappears between your eye bones rub your palms generate the heat make cup of your palms place your eyes we are going to do constant pressure play palming with the primary constantly apply the pressure inhale while exhale chant along with me makara sound mm. 
feel the vibrations throughout the body with echoes of makara inhale while exhale chant along with me makara so mm. proceed for three more rounds three mm. four mm. and five mm. do not bring your hands down feel the vibrations in your head region with a course of makara especially around your eye region Feel the vibrations in your head region with a course of makara, especially around your eye region. Do not bring your hands down. Feel the cool sensation around your eye region. Feel the silence. Do not bring your hands down yet. Feel the cool sensation around your eye region. Feel the resonance of makara around your eye region. Do not open your eyes. Slowly bring your hands down. Close your eyes. Do not open your eyes. The final step is maintaining the silence. Maintain the silence for a few seconds. Maintain the silence for a few more seconds. Recognize the changes. Recognize the changes. Recognize that your mind has become calm. Thoughts have been reduced. Focus has been improved. 
concentration has been improved your eyesight has been improved Do not open your eyes. Recognize that your mind has become calm. Thoughts have been reduced. Your focus and concentration has been improved. Your eyesight has been improved. Do not open your eyes. Take your hands in the, bring your hands backwards. Left palm will hold your right to wrist. Make loose fist with your right hand. Feel the pulse of your right hand with the left thumb by making loose fist and open your right palm. Loose fist and open your right palm. Observe the pulse of your right hand with the left thumb. Do not open your eyes. Inhale. Once you have sufficient air in the lungs, bend forward, synchronizing your exhalation. Once you reach the final position, do not hold your breath. Keep breathing normal. Take your hands in namaste position. Thank yourself and all gurus in this world to make this happen. Surrender yourself to the Almighty with the namaste position. Slowly come back to vertical position, synchronizing with inhalation. Do not open your eyes. With your four finger, middle finger and ring finger. Use the three fingers, just give a cooling massage around the eye region. Do not touch your eyeballs. Do not open your eyes. Rub your palms. Generate the heat. Place over the eyes, face, ears, neck, throat. Slowly blink your eyes. Look at the floor. And slowly look up. Okay. Let us do Nada on Sandha meditation. Sit in Padmasana. If you are not aware of mudras, just keep your palms above the knees. Close your eyes. Keep your palms in chin mudra. If you are not aware of mudras, just keep your palms above the knees. We are going to chant Akara while exhaling. Proceed. Follow my count. One. Uh, to inhale uh, continue to close your eyes change the palm position to chinmay mudra if you are not aware of mudras just keep your palms above the knees we are going to chant okara while exhaling proceed one oh Oh. 
have seen the palm position to all the mudra make fist with your both hands keep your palms above the knees if you are not aware of mudras just keep your palms above the knees facing the ceiling we are going to chant makara while exhaling proceed one two Mm. Continue to close your eyes. Bring your both palms together. When both palms come together, it is called Brahma Mudra. Individual palm palms are in Adi Mudra. We are going to chant Akara, Ukara, Makara while exhaling. Proceed one. Ah, two. Continue to close your eyes. Keep your palms back to Chin Mudra. Keep your spine straight. Now visualize the god, flower, object, your favorite person, our Ishta Devata, in the form of the light at the center of the heart. Not physical heart, but meditation heart. Once the object of meditation disappears, you will be in a meditative state. Meditation is something which cannot be done. It is a state to be achieved with no thoughts. When you become yourself, the object of meditation, you will become one with the universe, which will help to lead to the higher level dimensions in spirituality. So yoga is about becoming union with the world. So always focus yoga. To its core dimension, which is spirituality, so that all your side benefits will come. So do not focus yoga to physical benefits. Always focus yoga to the core benefits, which is spirituality. Yoga is about becoming union with the world.
Inhale. Exhale. Let us end the session with a prayer. Bring your hands in Namaste position. Inhale. Om Purvatsvaha. Om Tatsavitu Varenyam Bhargo Devasya Devahi. Diyo Yonak Prachutayat. Inhale. Om Purvatsvaha. Om Tatsavitu Varenyam Bhargo Devasya Devahi. Diyo Prachutayat. Inhale, Om Bhurvatsvaha, Om Tatsavitur Varenam Bhargo Devasya Dimahi, Diyo Yona Prachutayat. Inhale, Om Shanti 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 He, do not open your eyes, rub your palms. Gender the heat. Place your thighs, face, ears, neck, throat. Slowly blink your eyes. Look at the floor. Slowly look up. So if you have any questions or any, if you want to share anything, please let me know. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you. So may I, did you do? I think so may I is unmute. Okay. So thanks everyone. Thanks for joining. Have a nice Thank day. Bye-bye.